Welcome to Paul Offshore Fishing. I'm Matt. I'm going to do a Precision 9 rate compass install for my Simrad unit. <clears throat> this is the box it comes in. I ordered it from West Marine and it should be the compass and a cable and a little bit of hardware. All right, in the box we have the mounting instructions. Here's the rate compass. Looks like a little bit of cardboard shavings on it. And here is the cord and some mounting hardware. It looks like the install instructions as well. And here is the bracket that you'd mount it on. All right, the reason why I'm in my console is I downloaded this app called Gemco, and it's called G-E-M-E-C-O, and it's a marine accessory app. And they have a they have a paid version, but they have a free version too. But they also have where they have a magno a mag, magnetometer, where it you can read magnetic fields. And I've gone all over my boat and up on top of the console or on top of the T top. And the best place using it right here has been one of the best spots right here. And also it's long the uh, pitch line or the roll line of the boat. So it's just pretty much center. Um, they tell you you want it as low as possible. In my research, I've heard that uh, there was one source said that sea hunt boats are putting them in their leaning post for their, uh, where their life wells are, but I don't have a fiberglass leaning post. So after uh, several attempts uh, in trying to get the magnet, fear, um, get my magnetic fields correct I decided to put it right here um, in the console uh, I went ahead and pre-drilled my screw holes put my screws in and mount it up now I'm gonna go ahead and put the actual sensor in and what my plan is to do I'm gonna go get some adhesive cable ties and basically route the NEMA cable down along the side of the console on the bulkhead bracket there is a notch it's this this bottom piece is slotted so i went ahead and mounted it as what i appear to be as level to the boat as possible now when we calibrate it it'll go ahead and should figure itself out but when i get it in the water how the boat sits in the water i'm going to probably loosen this back up and play with it to get it uh tweak it to where i want want it to be right now i'm on the trailer my point one antenna and it took me a little bit to figure it out. And I've gone ahead and routed the Precision 9 compass in. And I put it into that slot. And what I think I'm going to do is get those adhesive wire ties. And put them along the bulk, uh, bottom bulkhead here. And come up along the edge. And I'll wind up on my cable back here where some of these other cables are. That will be behind the uh, cover for the console here. Uh, what I'll probably go ahead and do now that I'm hooked up. Alright, now that i got the Precision 9 rate. Uh, compass uh, hooked in. I'm going to go ahead and boot up my system and see if it'll go ahead and read it. Uh, realizing I had disconnected my backbone and plugged a new sensor into it, I've gone on, got it hooked up. I got an error going on, but I believe it's because it's calibrating. And we're going to go to Precision 9 Compass come up. Now, I go to cal don't want to calibrate. I want to go to Configure, and it shows say warning first calibrations in progress and we got it on auto so uh, we're going to let this thing sit as it collects data and we'll see what uh what it can figure out all right it's been about 15 minutes and it's still giving me this warning first calibration uh is in progress so what i'm probably gonna have to do this afternoon is go put the boat in water and go ahead and do a manual calibration and see if it'll clear it out and whether or not i got to be moving or whatnot to get this thing to clear out so i'm gonna tidy up my cables put all my covers back on and uh i'll be able to get you a video on how to calibrate this thing and with that i conclude uh this video um on the install of precision 9 compass